We are still in the city of Lucerne and right now we are still walking beside the old walls of the old city. Old part of the city, old town. Once a symbol of power, the Museg Wall and its nine towers are part of Lucerne's historic fortifications in Switzerland. Forming a striking crown around the old town, the wall can be seen from afar. The Museg Wall and Manly, Zigt, Wacht, and Skiermer Towers are open to the public from 8 a.m. to 7 p.m. between April 1st to November 1st. The Museg Wall and its nine towers form part of town's fortification, and today visitors and locals can walk along many sections of the ramparts. There is also a Museg Wall newspaper and guided tours available. Construction The fortifications began in the 13th century and consisted of two rings of ramparts, the inner ring comprising the town wall along the Lohengraben and Hirschengraben, the Chapel Bridge and Spruer Bridge, and the outer ring on an ascending sandstone ridge in the old town on the right-hand side of the River Rus. As the town founded in 1178 continued to expand beyond the narrow confines of the fortifications, the Museg Wall was built with more towers. The 800-meter-long wall, erected around 1400 following the Battle of Sempak, is considered one of the longest, best-preserved defensive walls in Switzerland. Nine stone entities flooded at night remain standing on the Museg. Now let us explore the towers. The Nuli Tower It bears a construction date 1513. Today's vehicular access was created in 1901. The wall's sole circular tower, 28 meters in height, is the headquarters of the Saffron Guild, complete with guild hall and archive. The Manly Tower The iron figure of the Manly or Little Man is the second tower on the ascending ridge and is open to the public. It measures 33 meters from the ground to the pinnacle. The Liguisland Tower Erected in 1370, keeping with its name, look toward the land, this tower serves as a watchtower for the protection of the town. It boasts a weathercock painting left to the right atop its height peaked roof, the tallest of the nine brothers. The Hue or the Wax Tower It gets its name from the hay that was stored in it. It was also used for the storing of the gunpowder within its thick walls. A lightning strike in 1701 caused a mighty explosion that ripped the tower apart. Blocks of stones were sent hurtling across the town, causing immense damage, while the explosion itself killed a number of people. The rebuilt tower is 44 meters in height. The Zit Tower This 31 meter tall tower was erected in 1442 and features a clock. The dial with its digits is large enough to have been read by fishermen on the lake.
Its bell, the Leo de Gar bell, strikes the hour one minute before the other church clocks in the city. Skirmer Tower It is at 27.5 meter tall that the gate of the same name leads out into the country. Towns within their walls were enclosed entities, and Lucerne was no exception. The stairs are very steep. Citizens stepping through the gate found themselves in the country. Other than farmsteads dotted about the region, no farther buildings were to be seen. This is also one of the few towers where you can climb and explore. Until now, we are still climbing the steep stairs leading to the top of the turm or tower in English. Woo! We finally reach the top of the tower. As you can see, there are still some remnants of the old stairs. They are stairs going up wherever. Maybe on the attic. But for now, this is it. This is it. The Pulver Tower The city of Lucerne stored its gunpowder in two towers as a precautionary measure. When disaster struck the Hue Tower in 1701, half of the gunpowder remained safe in the Pulver, or Powder Tower. Measuring 27.5 meters in height, the tower ranks among the oldest buildings on the Museg. It now serves as a guild hall for the Way Guild after its members repaired it. The Allen Winden Tower The tower and lower Duckley Tower no longer stick out above the tangle of buildings of the Museg. The Lucerne Tambourine Club and Lucerner Maskenfrunde Club are based in the Allen Winden Tower. The Deckley Tower. The last of the nine towers, the smallest in the line. Its striking steep flank pyramidal roof is believed to rank amongst the oldest of the tower's roofs. It has acted as a guild hall of the Swiss Union of Master Joiners since 1936. The Farm. The old natural stone walls provide a valuable and truly special habitat for endangered plants and animals, including jackdaws, common swifts, and bats. There is also the Hintermuseg farm, directly behind the wall. A chance to experience farm life in the heart of the city, with a farm shop, eatery, and animals. The farm is organic and open to visitors where they can get a glimpse into species appropriate husbandry. Children and families can see highland cattle, mini pigs, hens, and goats, while also getting a chance to work on the farm. Overall, preserving the Museg wall in Lucerne is important. It is an essential part of the city's history and cultural heritage, and its preservation can help to ensure that it is preserved for future generations to enjoy and to learn from. 
I hope you enjoyed the tours of the old walls and the towers. Until next time, bye! So guys, if you like our videos, please subscribe to our channel and feel free to comment. Hit the bell, hit the bell, hit the bell, hit the bell, come on guys, hit the bell! For notifications! And don't forget to share! And like!